All right, we're going to uh, do a little video here on uh, trying to improve the grounding scheme on this amp. I built this amp 15 years ago, and it's been various versions of it. I've modded it many times and done different things to it. And in its current state, I've uh, I didn't exactly get the grounding scheme uh, how I wanted it. So it has hum and. Uh, I learned about some grounding schemes from uh, Terry over at D-Lab Electronics and uh, I implemented it on another amp and uh, it seemed to quiet the amp quite a bit down plus adding another little plate that I plan on adding. But uh, this is what we're going to try and get rid of here. You can hear, maybe you can hear that humming in the background. I got the master volume all the way up and you can hear some humming, you hear a little hiss from the tubes, but that's normal. So, let's tear into this thing and uh, see where we can get. Alright, so here's inside the amp. And you might be asking, well, how are we going to accomplish lowering the grounding? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a brass, piece of uh, brass here. This is ten thousandths so it's thin I can easily work with it we're gonna cut it out and uh, drill holes in it for all the potentiometers and we're gonna mount it along the side of the chassis here across the all on the same ground plane for the preamp section and we're also gonna tie in any of the power feeds for the preamp section of the same ground spot then anything that's gonna feed to uh, higher voltage or the output section uh, we are going to tie to its own ground spot as well uh, the heater center tap and things like that and uh, just by doing that it should uh, lower the noise floor so um, let's get to work uh, updating this baby so here we are with the final product the uh, brass plate mounted in in behind all the pots And all the grounds associated with the preamp circuit uh, soldered to the plate. Um, that's even the preamp electrolytics for the, uh, the preamp voltage, the grounds applied there. Um, then everything from the power amp section got uh, routed over here to one common point. Uh, I sanded off some of the anodized coating on the chassis and soldered a connection directly to the chassis and then ran uh, all the output section and uh, caps and everything associated with that including the uh, heater center taps for the filaments and the one ohm resistors here for the power tubes so you can check uh, bias current and all to one location and uh, once again, uh, this has been a, another success. We'll get to hear it after it's into the chassis because uh, when it's exposed like this, you do get some noise getting picked up. So we'll put it back in the chassis and uh, fire it up. All right, here we are with it uh, all done. I'll put back together. Uh, let's turn it up and uh, see what we got. Yeah, I can definitely tell uh, any residual buzzing that was there is gone. Uh, on another amp that I did this on that has more gain stages than this, I probably got around 1 to 2 dB of noise reduction, which was pretty significant. This just has a slight tube hiss like you'd expect, and uh, about what we set out to accomplish. We got it all done. So worked out well. You can do this to any amp. I'm going to be doing it to other ones. and. Uh, Hope this works out well for you.